So my question is very, very, very much basic to you. Uh, I believe that, uh, as you said, terrorism is a fight against injustice, right? I also believe that terrorism is somehow a fight against the government of, by a common people. किसी इंसान के साथ अगर अन्याय होता है तभी वो जाके मजहब के नाम पे लोग इकट्ठा करता है और फिर यू नो ही ट्राइज टू फाइट अगेंस्ट वट एवर इज हैपन टू हिम बट वट आई बिलीव इज एक इंसान एक नॉर्मल पर्सन यू नो समबड़ी हम में से अगर कोई गुजरात में होता तो शायद हम भी वही करते जो उन्होंने किया मतलब और आप क्या कर सकते हैं आप पुलिस पे आपको भरोसा नहीं है जुडिशियल सिस्टम दस साल लगा देगी तो एक नॉर्मल इंसान के पास कौन सा ऑप्शन बचता है अगर उसके साथ कुछ बुराई हो तो वट वुड यूर एडवाइस बी टू अमल मैन लाइक मी इफ समथिंग लाइक दिस हैपन्स टू मी वट शुड वी डू आई एग्री विथ यू what you are saying is that if it happened with you or me when we see our family members being killed in front of us our mothers and our sisters being raped our houses being what do you do and i agree that what you do the same thing a normal human being will do that that's normal unless you have so much faith in almighty god i do agree with you 99% human beings unless he's wearing bangles kalai pe chudiyan pehne to alag baat hai otherwise this is a normal reaction unless a person has faith in almighty god even i would want to do the same if i did not know my quran if i did not know from the quran it is wrong because if i kill the innocent human being i am behaving like the same person who caused problem injustice to me just because someone does injustice to me it does not justify me to kill other innocent human being just because somebody has robbed me i can't go and rob a third person if i catch the person responsible and book him and punish him that's a different case but i cannot kill any innocent human being based on the logic of the quran that it prohibits you from killing any innocent human being i because i know the quran i will not retire it in that way i will try and get evidence i will try and convince the government if he goes caught free what i say that all those people responsible for these terrorist acts whether done in gujarat in bombay right whether the politicians whether the police whether the people who have killed whether the people who did the bomb blasts even if they go caught free in this world on the day of judgment god will surely punish them so we as muslims believe as it mentioned in the quran in surah al imran chapter 3 verse 185 that kullu nafsin zaikatul maut every soul shall have a taste of death but the final recompense on the day of judgment because we believe this life is the test for the year after we leave it if we cannot do something here we leave it for almighty god to do the justice and inshallah will be punished in the year after if we catch hitler today what punishment can you give him Six million people answer. What punishment can you give him? You can kill him once. What about the remaining five million nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ten people? Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number fifty six, that those who reject our signs, we shall put them in the hell fires. And as often as the skins are roasted, we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain. Today, science tells us that there are pain receptors. So God tells. that on the day of judgment if the skins are roasted we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain if god wants to incinerate hitler 6 million times we can do it we can't do it here so therefore we leave it to the main justice main justice to god